Hello officers, Scorpio, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, it's a busy day astrologically. You might wake up on the wrong side of the bed still. Moon begins in Libra today, Scorpio, so the first half of your day is still based on subconscious issues. This might be one of those days where you have like a really weird dream and it just sets a weird tone for the day. I find that happens in this transit. But either way, if your day is pissy, just hold out to the afternoon because by the afternoon, sunny and cool is my official prediction for Scorpios tonight through most of the weekend. Now, when the moon is in your sign, what happens is your emotions work side by side with your ego. And you may say that's common, but it is not common in my experience with counseling people. So what tends to happen is, for one, things run sunny and cool. We have great charisma, we're whistling as we work, that sort of thing. The other thing, we get pulled into soul service. In other words, you may be kind of pulled into a situation where you have to define a boundary. And that's why I call you Officer Scorpio. That's Scorpio's job on the planet, to define boundaries for people, to point out when people cross lines. And most of the time, you're the one that sensed it ahead of time, and you're the one that saw it in the moment. Everyone else is freaking oblivious to it. But Scorpios have that spidey sense for a reason. Now, zipping around in the sun, today Saturn is ruling the day. We're in Chapter 2 of Sun in Taurus. The topic for Scorpions is their long-term marriages and partnerships and agreements with others. Now, when Saturn rules the day, it means it's time to make a decision. But a chapter two decision is usually a very private decision to oneself. It's you saying, you know what? I've decided. I want a marriage that works for me. I want a business partner that brings in the money. I want this. I want that. Doesn't mean we necessarily get it right away. There's some more light work to do to get our light working strong. But today you probably have enough information or the courage to finally call a spade a spade. Then lastly, Mercury is retrograde. That's right, Mercury is officially retrograde today. It will be retrograde for the next three weeks. Now, a lot of people give Mercury a bad reputation for retrograde. Me, I don't sweat it. It's the natural cosmos or the natural flow of the cosmos. What's happening is, is Mercury appears to be moving backwards in the sky. It's really swinging around the sun, so it looks like it's changed directions from our perspective on Earth. What it means metaphorically is the polarization of the energy. Mercury rules intellect and communication. So it forces us to kind of look at reality from the inside out and our cell phones break down and emails don't get through, but that's all the universe going, communicate another way, do it another way, think about it a different way. So we get forced into thinking differently and rethinking a certain subject. So even though you're making decisions with your marriages right now, you'll be rethinking all these decisions for the next three weeks and then thinking through them again. The universe obviously thinks relationships are an important topic for Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, that's all I got for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So